Okay, welcome everybody to this Inside Real Estate webinar. Hopefully you can all see my um, screen, the correct screen. Let's see. Do uh, Blake and Ashley, do you see the social posting slide? Yep. Yep. Excellent. So um, today, this is this wasn't really planned. We kind of, you guys did a post earlier in the week. I have it up on the screen um, where you said, once again, another great day using conversion, 24 leads in the past 12 hours using system works and 78 comments as of this morning. Um, so you guys, uh, thank you. I, I asked, Hey, would you come on? Some people are asking to, for you to share what you're doing and that's what we're here to do. We're going to see what Blake and Ashley are up to. Um, before we jump in, I'll answer any questions. Yes, we're recording this. It's being recorded right now. If you have to leave, no big deal. We'll get the recording out to you. And, uh, let's just let, get to know you two really quickly. Um, do you have a fan page or a website URL I can go to? Yeah, it is, uh, our website is BlakeCantrellRealEstate.com. Facebook, um, it's at Blake Cantrell Real Estate. So either one of those. Great, and you are, uh, you're just telling me you're in the Ozarks area. So if anybody yeah, has any business. Yeah, we're based out of Springfield, Missouri. Um, I've personally been in real estate five years. Uh, we started our real estate team in February of 2018. So we've been in business just over, I think it's a week over a year. And uh, Ashley joined me whenever I started our, our team. And from there, we've just been, uh, been, I guess, building it out. So um, Ashley and I are, are married, so she's been around kind of the, the real estate business for a while, and um, it's been a, been a huge benefit bringing her on. We started conversion in uh, around February, or no, sorry, around October. October of 18. So we haven't been in it very long, but it's been very successful as far as the time, time that we have been in it. Um, I have used conversion in the past though with, I actually, my, my mom's in real estate. I was on her team uh, for four years prior till we started ours and we had conversion. So I'm, I'm very, um, I guess you could say, I uh, kind of, I've, I've been in it a lot and I know how it works and I do know if you use the system, it will, uh, it'll pay off. So that's what we're doing is we're using the system. Great. Yeah. And it was interesting to me that you brought Ashley in and you told me, uh, you were, we were just talking, Ashley, you drive it, right? you you kind of yeah. are like the assistant yeah. who controls it. I do. I spend, well, probably about six hours a day. Oh, wow. It's my okay. baby. <laughs> okay. So I guess what we're going to do here today is you're going to show us kind of what you're doing uh, to generate all these leads. Um, and uh, well, I think the next step here, well, I'll give you guys control of the dashboard now. Okay. So I'm going to move that over. Okay. And then can somebody who's listening, I always get worried when I don't see any questions yet. Can somebody just say, yeah, you can hear us in the chat box just to make sure that everything's working well. Perfect. Thanks, Chris and Josh and Elizabeth and Jean. And uh, we'll wait for Blake. Go ahead. Uh, let me turn this off real quick here. I have dual monitors on, so I'm making sure that it's on the right screen. Yeah. Which screen can you see? Dangerous. I've had some mishaps. <laughs> which, which, yeah. Which screen can you see now? Uh, I see the one with the Lenovo and the, the pretty feather. Okay. So that's there's Pandora again. Let me drag this over then. Just a second. How's that? Perfect. Okay. So I guess, do we have questions yet on what people are having? Any, have any questions yet, I guess? No, no questions yet. Uh, I think we'll just let you guys talk and kind of do a demo. And then as people ask questions, I'll direct them at you. Okay, I'll let Ashley take it over from here. We'll go to our conversion. And the, I guess the biggest thing, I'll we'll just let you, let you take it and kind of show what you're doing as far as daily on our on postings or um, what you're doing. Um, primarily I do squeeze pages, um, blog posts, and then I share any of our listings, um, to Facebook through the conversion MLS link. My goal is to try to share everything through conversion. That way we can capture more. No leads. matter what we do, everything we do is shared through conversion yeah. or try, try what we can share at least. So, um, Sorry, did you say something? Yeah, so so this is a, I just wanna mention, this is a conversion plus account, but this approach works almost exactly the same way on KV Core. We have a lot of KV Core people on as well. Okay. Um, okay. Do, you want, do you wanna show really quickly, if you could, your process for creating the links that you're gonna share? Yeah, uh, do you wanna do, um, do a single property or just do a general search? Well, I mean. We can just do a general see. search, we'll do that. I do a lot of squeeze pages. Um, on Facebook, if you look at our page, 
you can kind of like see. I really feel like the times that you share them are key. Um, I schedule out a lot of our posts and then um, just areas that I know are hot right now. Um, like one of our surrounding cities is Nixa. Um, or just like if you do something in the county, foreclosures, you know, things that people are interested in. We always get a ton of feedback but from foreclosures. Whenever we post foreclosures, we seem like we seems like we always get uh, a bunch of different leads. So that's uh, that's always a good one for us. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorites. It's low hanging fruit, and a lot of people think it that is. foreclosures are going to generate a bad lead. But I expect you guys will tell me that you generate a lot of conversations around foreclosures that aren't people looking for a low end property. No, and it's it's usually people who have money. Right. The, they're thinking about investing or something, right? They're just curious. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so like this one, I'm just putting like a county, Green County. Um, we'll leave that at that. Um, like I said, the foreclosure. Where are we at? Here we are. Foreclosures. Sorry. I do, do use this, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so then I just build the link. And we so, had 17, so I mean, that's a pretty good number. Not too many to scroll through, but it gives you a good sample of what that, what's out there. And I just take it, go to our page. Loading, loading. Paste. Um, so I actually, a couple people who ask questions and were, were kind of mentioning that they, they're doing this, but they're not sure what they're doing. So a lot of them don't do what she just did right there, and that's erase the, the URL out of the post. You'll just see it to where they post the URL and then post the, the link. To me, that's one of those, you're not taking full advantage of, of using the system because, yeah, they can click on the link in the header, but at the same time, it shows the pictures below. It's all clickable. So make it fancy, but keep it short and sweet. Um, yeah. That's a really good tip. Um, yeah. and, and I never knew, I should know this, that it shows the, it shows the slideshow by default yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So she does this and then you'll see she goes through and does like all the little emojis and everything when she posts it because those get people's attention. So she's also, like I said, the short and sweet. She'll say, you know, check out these investment properties or investor special or, um, you know, it's something to get people's attention or wow, look at all these foreclosures currently available in Greene County. So it's all stuff to get people's attention that's what our goal is to once one to get them to stop and two to click through so just getting them to stop is the first step so that's what she's doing right now and then from there getting them to click through we have we have a really good click through rate in general being that she's so consistent in her daily postings we looked at it one time and our click through rates about a 10 percent which i mean from what i hear that's amazing yeah and we're very very consistent we have people reach out to us i mean i can think of just today on just our facebook in general not not conversion, but Facebook in general, uh, we're messaging between, oh, we get Facebook, put in Facebook jail very often. So we'll message between 10 and 50 people a day because we run, right now, we, we personally have around, it's around 21 different Facebook groups. So for every town in our area, we have, um, so like we have houses in Springfield, Mo for sale and rent. Uh, we have Nixa, Republic, Ozark, Rogersville. Those are all of our surrounding areas. And we do that for sale and rent. Then we have uh, two pages. So we have two different locations. We do our Blake Cantrell Real Estate and we have our Blake Cantrell Real Estate Republic. So those pages, we can't uh, talk to people whenever they are joining those groups or those pages. But as far as the groups go, we're making sure not only using conversions for that aspect, but we're when we approve people, we're asking them, hey, are you looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate? And when they answer that question, we then message them back, send them a link to conversion so they can start their searching in through there. So literally everything we do in our daily business is based around it. And from what I've found, especially having uh, we're in a, have, a, have a growing team, but from from in the past and, and certainly now, people don't use the system. They pay for the system. They hope it'll bring in leads, but they don't use it the way it's supposed to be used. Once you use it the way it's supposed to be used, I mean, we were talking before everyone came on. Uh, I think this week alone, we have six or seven new people that were in the process of either getting approved. I talked to someone this morning that I'm doing her and her fiance. We're doing a market analysis on both of their houses and they're looking to move to our area. So that's three deals right there just off of one phone call. Um, we're making multiple phone calls to these people too. We're not just calling them, putting them down as, uh, 
they, you know, we, we made a phone call. We didn't reach out to them. Well, they're always a new lead in the system until we speak to them, communicate with them. Then we switch them over to an active lead, a client, something from there, because if we don't talk to them, we don't know what they're doing. Excellent. So I'm going to I'm going to pause you just watching what Ashley did. There was awesome the way she, um, you know, she she tagged your Facebook page. She put some emotion into feeling excited. Um, it's it's a I can tell it's a process you guys go through. You didn't go crazy on the, the text up top. No. Um, and we're getting a lot of questions. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through <laughs> some of those with you guys right now and yeah. then let you keep going. OK, um, so, so uh, I knew as soon as you said uh, Ashley, something about cho choosing specific times to publish. Um, I recently did kind of a class on this, and I'm going to include this in this recording. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't even think about that. What times are good to publish? That's what Elizabeth is asking. Um, so kind of playing off that, me and Blake were just talking earlier. Um, like on your pages that you have, make sure your location settings are put appropriately. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, it has like the mile radius and stuff. I put ours up to 55 miles, like based on the town that we're in for each one of our groups. And uh, I actually just changed it in one of the groups last night just to kind of test it. And I had 95 requests from 11 o'clock tonight till 8.30 this morning when I got in the office. It was out of hand. So I really feel like that's key. That way when you're posting, the right people are going to see it in the times. But for us, um, I kind of monitored it and studied it for a while. But typically, um, eight to nine is when we get the most traffic weeknights. Um, weekends, Saturday and Sundays, if I do something like afternoon, like noon to two, people are sitting at home watching TV, waiting for a football game to come on over. It's out of hand. Um, weather is a huge one, too. If I if it's Blogs. a snow day at yeah. school, like I'll post a blog. Um, something relevant about the market or the weather or, you know, ways to cozy up your home. And I always change out the picture. I go to Pinterest or Google and just try to find some like really eye catching or different picture that I haven't seen before. And like, it's like clockwork within five minutes, conversion starts blowing up. Out of hand. Yeah. We start getting the phone calls. So Awesome. So, so uh, those, times, those times are nine. consistent. Eight nine at night. Yeah. And then noon to two. During noon the to two during the weekends, but then I still post stuff at that, that same like eight to nine gap. Um, but honestly, if you share your own listings through the MLS link, it really doesn't matter what time. Like people are crazy about those. I know it's something so simple like a listing, nothing that cool or fun, but it gets a lot of attention. Yeah, and we we definitely, if, if a lot of new agents, they don't have any listings getting in. We run right now about 50 listings at a time. Um, we're increasing that daily so we have some listings to share but if you don't have listings what we have done in the past and what we we tell everybody even in our market share everything we have because i call it sharing's caring right so the more supply stuff that gets shared then the more i'm going to sell so I, I tell everybody talk to your local agents that are actually like big dogs in your market usually they're going to tell you you can share their listings if they don't you don't want to share their listings anyways but we look at it like that of, of talk talk to people and, and most of them are going to let you share their listings Yep, and we, we had a question related to that. So that's a great, great tip. Hack other people's listing inventory, just ask. And then uh, so there was a question, I always get this question on this topic is, you know, can you post the squeeze link if it has other people's um, listings on them? And I'll yes. let you guys handle that. Yep, yeah. so that's what sometimes I had when I first started using conversion about four years ago, whenever I guess you could say it was new to our area, I would get complaints often about um, from other agents saying, I don't want you posting my pictures of my house, or I don't want you posting my listings on your um, your website. I don't think that's representing the clients the best personally, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> but yeah. you can use other pictures too. So yeah, just make sure depending on your market and what your MLS says, if you're able to, you know, whenever you do click on it, it does say what agency it's provided by. So that is within our regulations, I guess you could say. Yeah. So it just depends on the market, but with ours, we can share um, whenever we just do these the squeeze pages on these foreclosures like this, um, it's yeah, you're, you're able to do, to do whatever properties you want to. Yeah, in general, you're dealing with an IDX agreement, which you've signed exactly. with us and, and with your MLS. So that the other broker is complaining, their broker has done the same thing. So exactly. You know, I think mostly you're covered, but if you want to cover your butt, just ask your broker. And it's, and, it's mostly by people not understanding. Yeah. 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 Um, so next question here. Um, oh, uh, somebody wanted you to reshow that link with the removal. It's pretty simple. You just you just paste the link directly oh, yeah. and then delete it. Yeah. yeah, we'll just get out of this real quick then. 
Um, so you'd copy paste. Copy it, yeah. I'm just exit out of that one, you'll be fine. Because it won't show up with that. Um, where's my just click over here? Right, okay, so I just need to wait for it to load the preview, right? That's the big trick. Yeah, there. so if we're, if we're going to it. Uh, just one say. sec. Oh, wait. Did it start to? Yeah, it appeared at Where's the first exit out? box. <laughs> there we go. Well, oh, those will be the boxes. Okay, so let me just exit out of this whole window. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let actually repost that. We'll go on to the next question. Um, so Jeff saying he's been in business about seven months um, and for, is being told that foreclosures are a different monster and tough to deal with. And I think we may have touched upon this, but it's not so much about um, It's not about working foreclosures. foreclosures. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you take that, Blake. So it's not about the foreclosure. It's about the yeah, conversation. Yeah, so I, I hate, so here's the link. If you can see where my mouse is moving around right here, what we do is we just take it, highlight it, delete it out. Then you write what you're wanting to write. A lot of people don't do that. And I, like I said, whenever people were going through asking me questions on, on, uh, on the group or as far as the messaging on Facebook, I went and did research on their pages and I saw that through a lot of them that they were mm -hmm. just sharing the post versus going through and making it exciting. It just makes it more personable. Then uh, as far as what we were talking about on foreclosures, yeah, this isn't about getting foreclosures. What this is about is getting investors, mm -hmm. getting people in general that, oh, wow, I'm clicking through this foreclosure house because I'm interested in buying something. That's what I want is those people are going to buy something, not somebody who is just looking at buying a foreclosure. They That's what gets their attention. Then we convert them into something else. Yep. It generates the conversation. Exactly. Um, um, do you let other realtors join your Facebook pages? Absolutely. And uh, how do you get their phone numbers? I seem to only get emails and no one responds to me. One of my favorite questions in the world. I'll let you guys answer that on your end. <laughs> okay, so we turned it on to where they have to do a phone number and an email. I love how it says enter your email in, or not your email, but enter your phone number in. We'll use as a password, I think is what it says when someone's registering. We try to call those people within, when they come in, I love to automatically connect. One of the, the guys on my team, he's he loves doing that. He's on the phone to where every time it comes through, he's connecting with them. So we push the text message button a lot um, whenever it comes through and calls us, and then we make a follow-up phone call. So they're getting that text message right away so that they know we're there. And then within that evening or the next day, we're making a phone call to them, reaching out. And we automatically assume that they know who we are because they registered with our website. So I'll say, hey, it's Blake Cantrell. How are you today? And I just okay. leave it at that is, is whenever somebody, when you call them and they, 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 so if you think, I guess if you say it in a way that they should know who you are, they think that they should know who you are or that they, then they remember it. If you say, Hey, is this so-and-so? Then they're going to say, okay, what do you want from me? Or no, I didn't do this. I say, hey, it's Blake Cantrell. I saw you register on my website. Uh, I was wondering if I could help you out with your search criteria. I'm Perfect. just very, very to the point about it. So you're, re you're requiring the phone number or are you letting the you option? We are requiring the phone number. Yeah. We tried when we first started it. We tried just by email and all we are getting is emails. And to tell you the truth, people kind of suck on the email side. I picked up a couple people in the last couple weeks over email and they're kind of, um, kind of hard to get a phone number from them. So we just require the phone number and you get better leads when you require the phone number. Okay, cool. So that that I have a different opinion on that, but if it's working for you and you're getting you're, you're obviously have, getting the volume too. You know what? I had a better opinion on it before, or a different opinion on it before, and I tried this, and we're getting a lot better quality leads. Awesome. So, awesome. Yep. I got I got to try it. I've also not posted <laughs> as, as you guys have. So yeah. 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 So um, she also, one big thing too, she also schedules her posts out. Yeah. So don't don't. You may think, oh my gosh, I have to put a post up every day. I have to put five posts up a day. She's for her weekend posts. She's putting them out. I plan in yeah, advance. Yeah. She's putting them out three or four days and she'll schedule the weekend posts. So she, you can almost do a week in advance on when they're going to go out. Mm -hmm. That's what's great about with Facebook is you can schedule those posts. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a little easier to where just knock them all out in one day or knock them out while you're watching TV at mm -hmm. night or, or something like that. And through the week, I kind of fill in the gaps, you know, like if we get a new listing or we have a price drop or Oh, that house isn't getting much attention. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure we're going to ask how do, we, how do you schedule those posts? Sorry, oh, schedule, scheduling posts? Yeah. Okay. So like this one I have ready to go. Um, You can see it says share now right here. You can actually click the button to say schedule. 
And so here's today. I actually have stuff scheduled out like through next Monday. So I'll do this next Tuesday. And then, um, like I said, I typically do like 8 to 9 p.m. Or we're going slow here. So I'll do like 8 o'clock. Then you just press schedule. And then you can actually, so make sure it's right later. Schedule post. And then when you go to your top of your page, you can see actually, because you're, if you're like, oh man, I, I already did really that. Did or or yeah. did I spell that word wrong or whatever? You can actually view in advance. So you can see like I have something for later today, the 21st. Like I pretty, eight o'clock is our, consistency our sweet is key. time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I was going to say. Consistency is key. I mean, every single day i have at least three things going live normally i try to switch it up like i'll do a squeeze page and then the next night i'll do a blog post i try to share like two listings a day or like if something's going on in the community yeah perfect and mm -hmm. and you mentioned i'll get some more questions in a minute but you, you mentioned you're posting in groups too yes so she can go through and show you yeah so here's this will be example just do the springfield one so you can see when we click on the sidebar here, we'll have a bunch of different groups come up if our computer will work with us here. We're going a little slow. Yeah, let's go to webinar plus Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh, I didn't go to the right one. Oh my, okay, so, how many, how many of this people, how many people does this have in it? So we started this group about three years ago and it has 4,600 people in it. We manage this group, we approve everybody. So if someone wants to go in, actually that's on here, if they want to look this up and try to approve to be on this group, see what happens. So I recommend everybody going through houses in Springfield Mo for sale and rent, ask to be a part of this group. And it's kind of cool how it says, are you looking to buy, sell or invest? And it has a couple questions and it says, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to Blake Cantrell and it has my phone number and everything else down there. So it's a way of, we are focused hundred percent on branding as well. So that's a way of branding me on every single person that's looking for a house in Springfield, Missouri. That that's awesome. awesome. You, you created your own group. Just yeah. Yes. And you can see it links back to us. So it takes you back to our main page. Um, but we post, like I post, which this is another one of our pages that I shared into our page <laughs> um, this morning. But this is just like a land listing that we have. Um, but then we do do some rental stuff in here too. We, we allow people. Yeah, we to allow post. other people to, of course, post their rent stuff so that, you know, most people who are renting don't know that they can buy. So whenever they say that they're renting, we say, great. Have you thought about buying a home? No. Okay. Well, why don't we get you pre approved with our lender? And we have a lender partner that we can send a link. For our lender partner and get them approved through conversion as well so um we use it everything through conversion i mean it's literally that's what we do with everything so here's a blog post just to like break up the listings you know add something in that something of some value that some other people might want to see um but then like this this is another person that posted um do you ever pull listings for those posting do what you ever pull listings for Facebook posting to your group? Yeah, yeah. He asked if for sale by owners. Yeah, if yeah. people um, try to post, we message them. Um, at least try to reach out with them, see Different what their system. situation yeah. is. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Anything that we can do to turn mm -hmm. into a lead, we do. How many people, how many people on the call, call? I'm asking the audience. Uh, how many of you guys have your own groups? Because I think just that tip alone is well worth the price of admission today. So kind of funny, I went to, I was with Keller Williams for four years, went to their masterminds group um, in LA and I talked about the groups, how I was doing this. And it was like a kind of a big discussion. Uh, a lot of people weren't doing it, but I got some feedback afterwards about people that started doing it. And it's, it's worked wonders for us. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is if you tell a bunch of people in your area about it, then everybody starts doing groups. But if you don't have a ton of groups, I would recommend doing it like right now and creating one for every town around you. That's what I did. I went to a, a conference, came back, and my, I had a discussion sitting. I think I was sitting at a bar one night with somebody, and we're like, let's start doing it and see what happens. We did this, and it's just it has been wonderful for our business.
Awesome. Yeah, most um, of your business comes from from Facebook. And you post in other people's groups too, right? Other absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So any of the for sale by or for sale groups, any of the um, you tell them any of your well, I mean, I'm garage sure, sale groups. I'm sure it's just not here, but like we have like um, Springfield, you know, Facebook Marketplace or um, Springfield City Swap buy sell City-wide trade garage sale. I literally, I mean, Facebook makes it so easy you know you can share into all the groups and so i literally i mean some of our posts you can see how many times it's been shared and you'll see like f- over 42 times so i've shared them in 42 different groups you see also <laughs> on here where it says announcements at the top of this page this is our this is pinned to the top of this page so everybody that's on this page every time they go to it they see that it has my information on there that they can reach out to me mm-hmm. so and the same thing if you go and request to be a part of those groups like he was saying something similar pops up yeah so that that's huge on the group part also Craigslist, we post everything to Craigslist. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I suggest learning how to do that because we get great feedback and it's super easy. Um, another good one is those foreclosures through through Craigslist. So. You just have to do it and it will come. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I think one thing a lot of people do um, is they'll try it once or twice and then, you know, hey, I didn't get a lead or I didn't get a lead. Um, you don't get a lead from every post, right? You, no, no, we don't get a lead from every post. We get a lead from a lot of the posts though. Right. It's, it's a numbers game. I mean, yes, it is. But we have people now that like follow our groups, follow our pages that like look for us. It's like any like blogger, you know, blogs are huge right now. Like it's if you read like how to how to have a good blog or how to have a good Instagram, it's all consistency. Um, people are looking for our stuff now. Do you guys uh, I'm going to I'm going to give you guys a suggestion. Do you ever do webinars like this one for your audience? Never have before. This is our first I, one. I don't like video. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 we're, we're working on it. I've done a, uh, I've done one before I've done a, an interview before online, but that's it. So yeah, with your infrastructure, with all those groups, if you did a first time home buyer webinar, first time investor webinar, I bet you, I mean, the results are probably massive and it's not going to cost you anything. You yeah. Know? We'll put that down. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, um, so other questions here, um, how do you turn on the phone number? Uh, I'll just answer that really quick. Uh, it's broker setting and conversion plus, I think, and in KB core, it's in your website settings, but the, the support portal will help you with that. If you want to require or not require a phone. I don't um, think it's turned on when you first start either. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, um, you know, somebody's asking about what about other times of day? I think the 8 PM thing is just kind of like when you see the most, but that doesn't stop you from doing other times. You go into your Facebook settings. Um, like, you can actually like kind of view that. And I just kind of like made mental notes. And I mean, I, I, it's kind of like a study. Like it really is like, I mean, I, we really did our homework. I was like, well, I wonder if this time works or that time works. And like eight to nine is like gold for us. And we're getting, we're not a huge area. Springfield is a uh, hundred and I think it's 150,000 people is what it has. Surrounding area, we're maybe 400,000 people. So we're not in a huge, huge market. And we're having, as far as our views through Facebook, um, 10,000 plus a month views on, on everything we're posting, which is pretty pretty good as far as that's people kind of clicking through our stuff. Wow. So I'm told I'm getting an echo. Sorry about that, guys. It's just go to webinar and probably hard to troubleshoot. Um, um, let's see. Just looking for any questions. Make sure everybody gets their questions answered. Um, do you guys post other landing pages like uh try to get listings you know like the sell page with your house you know, things I, like that i don't i haven't found it so i've done the landing pages before as far as to to bring in listings and, and stuff like that we don't get a ton of feedback mm-hmm. from the listing side it's mainly a buyer side and the reason that we focus on the buyer like i i'm focused on listings that's like my primary goal is to get listings right so you leave with listings um but as far as the buyer side goes these are people who are looking they're they're interested or thinking about it, just like when you say when you walk into a store, um, when someone asks you, can I help you? You always say, no, I'm just looking. So most of these people say, no, I'm just looking. Mm-hmm. But that's whenever you make that phone communication with them, that phone call, and then you actually dig, dig a little deeper, and then you find out that they are actually looking to sell their house, then they're going to buy one. So I try to focus on everything that I do through here. I'm pulling in buyer leads, but at the same time, I'm focusing on getting a listing from them and then having the buyer side as well. So I'm trying to make it a two-deal transaction. I do have a open house one that I do use. Yes. I just yeah. have, we literally have in like our Google drive and our Google sheets. Um, saved I landing have pages. saved landing pages because they automatically, if you guys didn't know, they update. Yes. Okay. So yeah. I mean, it's, it saves time at the, 
as much as I use conversion, as much as I share, like it saves me time. So, I, I will put like the city or like a brief description of the topic of yeah. that page. And even for squeeze pages too. And then I just copy and paste. And weekly we do that. So if people didn't know it, the, the best thing about the landing pages is if you go up to your, which we can just kind of show you real quick. If you go to your website and you search anything. So we'll go view my website. <clears throat> And you want to do all the open houses in, so we're in Greene County. So we'll do all the open houses in Greene County. And I'll typically share this on like a Thursday, Friday when people are like thinking about the weekend. Mm -hmm. So open house. So when we do this and do the search, then your URL at the top is always going to it's always going to syndicate or is that the right word to say on there update. whatever update any open houses so week by week so at any time that you click on this if i click on this exact link next week it's going to open have the open houses for next week this link currently has the open houses for this week because mm -hmm. it's pulling from the idx feed and I'm, I'm correct on that right yeah yeah one one thing i've done in the past is bought like springfield open houses.com or dot info yes. and yeah. the marketing and just redirect it and it'll always be current exactly. And you can redirect. So you can buy as many different um, URLs if you want to and redire redirect these at any time. So what we do, though, is we build the landing page out of this. So we'll take this URL at the top. We build the landing page, and then we save it. We have a Google Drive file with all the different saved landing pages. This one is probably the best one for, yeah, for doing that. That's honestly about the only one that I really use. I'm really big on squeeze pages. Yeah. On the landing page side, it's, it's kind of one of those... Literally, you can post the exact same page week after week or mm -hmm. have it scheduled out every Sunday at this time. This landing page is going to post and it's going to have updated houses. So you can say, hey, check out the, the uh, uh, this free list of updated houses for or updated open houses in southwest Missouri and Green County. And people click through to that nonstop because people just like to go look at open houses. Mm -hmm. So those people that just like to go look are eventually going to be a buyer, or eventually going to be a seller. So just getting in the system creating that database and keep working them. And that's 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 a huge part of it. Yep, and when you, you were saying landing pages, do you mean you're putting one of our landing pages with an opt-in box in front of this? So yeah, so they can, you would do it to where, um, so we take this link, I'll copy this link. So it's all the open houses in Greene County this weekend. I'll go back over to Squeeze Builder, go to Lead Generation landing page, and I will just drop this to URL after login. Yeah. And then we'll do, you know, check out all the open houses in Greene County or yeah. however we want to do it. So that's a that's a direct lead generation. So what they're saying, guys, I just want to because I was following you. But what they're saying is that for open houses in particular, they'll use a landing page instead of a squeeze. Am I hearing that right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, it's a little and, fancy. And, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you could probably, I mean, I, I don't have the guts to do this or don't want the business, but you could probably buy a billboard in town that's like springfieldopenhouses.com and do and kill it with this page. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so open houses in Greene County this week. If we build it out, do the, do everything on here it's supposed to go to. Um, see the list now. So we can change the background. So you can put your logo in the background. You can do whatever you want to to make it to where it's attractive to people. Um, use one of your listings if you want to. But every time after you create this landing page, so if I go ahead and, and do the create on it, every time that I, which I gotta move my box here. So I go save, okay. So instead of, once you look at these, it, you know most people think you can probably wanna do this. We'll go here, save this onto one of your, um, like we said, like I said, we save it in Google Drive. You can save, save it wherever you want to. Every week, all we have to do is post this right here. This pops up and it already has all of the open houses in your area. So you don't have to worry about saying, oh, check out this open house, check out that open house. This is the free list right here. All you got to do is register. And if you've already registered once, you can log in every week and you don't have to register again every time because it should recognize it. Are you setting up specific uh, drips or alerts for, for the open house leads in particular? No, no, we, we try to reach out to them um, and then we set the, the drip or the alerts off of that. So we don't typically change any alerts or drips until we've talked to them. Gotcha. How, how many people, um, you know, when you require the phone on this, how many are accurate numbers? Is it half, a little better than half? <laughs> depends on the day. That's the best <laughs> answer I got for you. Uh, it depends on the day. So sometimes they're excellent. 
sometimes you get the most random number, then you get the eight six eight six three five three oh nine right eight six two five three oh nine very often. Um, right. So it just it depends on um, it just depends on the day. Yeah, I, I call it a fifty fifty chance, but on those ones, you know, the fifty percent that is good, you're getting good people out of it, and it's people who are actually looking to buy or sell. Great. So the best part about this, everybody, I don't want to, we're, we're about 35 minutes in. The best part about this is you're generating a crap load of traffic and leads completely Absolutely. for free. It's It sounds like only using Facebook or using other channels. Facebook and a little bit of Craigslist, but I'd say it's 99.9% .9 Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it's just a little bit of time. Um, I think, you know, Ashley, I'm sure you're you're more qualified, but I could see my 13 year old son doing this for me. It's not. No, yes. no yes. seriously, it is. It really is. And you can, you know, you can look and see like what other businesses and stuff are doing, and just like make it towards real estate. You know, like the emojis. It might sound silly or oh. It gets people's attention. I'm telling you, it gets people's attention or like silly hashtags. <laughs> I'm anticipating the thought going through a lot of people's heads who are solo warriors and they've got, you know, they're on listing points and belly to belly every day. Just grab a kid or somebody right out of college, pay them the 10 bucks an hour, right? 12. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and tell them to do it for two hours a day and it's a system in your business. The one thing to remember is it doesn't work unless you call the people too. Right. Right. But very key. Um, how do you post? Uh, oh, that's a good question. How do you post your landing pages in Craigslist under what entry or category? Um, we don't do paid landing pages in Craigslist. We just do just the generalized. Like post to Craigslist. Yeah, the drop post to box. Craigslist. Yeah. Oh, wrong one there. Let me go to. Mm. There we go. Squeeze Builder dashboard. So we'll just do quick actions. So thing, same thing that you would drop like your MLS listing, like the. Post to Craigslist. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the only way we're doing it. And then, of course, you just drop your MLS into it. And it's it's consistency again. You're not going to get a lead every time you do this. But if you no. do it every day of the week, you'll get one or two leads a week maybe or more. Yep. You have to build a following. You know, they have to feel your presence. And we, we don't have a day that we don't get less than, I mean, our minimum per day right now is probably six leads a day, I would mm -hmm. say. We're between five and six leads a day minimum on just everything we're doing. And some days it goes up to that. I mean, we'll get in – What's funny is I looked on the lead, how I posted one day. I think that we got 37 leads in 24 hours. And when we got 24 leads in 12 hours, that was just to my page. I didn't look at the th uh, the two other people that are on my team to tell you the truth. So we actually got more leads than that yeah. because they're starting to work there. They're just getting familiarized with the system and starting to work it. So Awesome. Uh, question here is, um, we know that on Facebook, you're doing a mix of your own listings and squeeze links. On Craigslist, are you only doing your own listings? Yeah, yeah, so we're allowed to share foreclosures as well. So you can you can share any HUD home. So I don't know how it is in your area. With our area, you can share any HUD home. I'm guessing that's across the United States probably. So if you don't know what to share as far as on Craigslist, you can do that. Awesome. Um, let's see, any other questions? Guys, this has been this has been really awesome. Um, I'm just it. <laughs> it's really we're gonna do more of these because I don't, you know, I've been doing these for years where it's just me talking and it's so much easier when you guys are sharing what you're doing and what's working. So there's thank so you. Yeah. many different things you can do. Yeah, and it's we'll, we're open to do this anytime. Yeah. So anytime people have questions, we can get on and, and do it. We, we enjoy doing it and helping people. So perfect. So I will I think we can we can get going now. Everybody's busy. Um if there are any questions, I think Annalisa that we missed is scooping those up. We'll post the replay in the groups. And if you guys have additional questions, um, uh, Blake and <laughs> Blake and Ashley, sorry, that we'll be able to answer in the group, right? Is that cool, guys? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, thanks a lot again. This yeah, thank you. Let's know if anyone else, if anyone else has any questions at all. So. Thanks. Great. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, referrals. I wanted to get you guys a plug. So you're in the Ozarks, right? Yes. We okay. are Southwest Missouri. We cover everything within an hour and a half to Springfield. So like a TV show, right? So if anybody knows anybody <laughs> going to Ozarks, use these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not like the TV show, but hey, we're there. Hey, and also one thing, if you got any type of uh, positive, you know, anything good out of this, we also love reviews. So uh, we love reviews from other, other agents in other areas. So if you would give us a review, that'd be great. We don't have a ton of them right now on our page, but hey, we would love more reviews. That's great. And I'm sure you guys will reciprocate if you see an agent. One good thing to review each other on is just say, hey, I know Blake. He's an awesome real estate marketer. You should list with him. That would be kind of a good review that gives context yeah. to other people looking at. Looking and at. anybody who does that with us, we will do it right back to them. So um, there's nothing better than looking on here and seeing another agent giving you somebody a review. So. 
Perfect. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll get the recording live and see everybody again sometime soon on another one of these sessions. Thanks, man. You have a good one. Thanks. Bye, guys.